What is going on, everybody? Game with the electric. Checking in. Look at you. What's up? Say hi. Okay, now you're getting a little weird on me. He bless the fall. Alright guys, Friday, about to get a quick spin in. First time having this in probably about a month. I've just been drinking coffee, so. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna catch, catch up on some subs right now. That YouTube life. Delicious. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> Delicious and nutritious. What is going on, everybody? Eric, coming to you guys again with a quick voiceover from this session. This is my bench session from today, and this was actually pretty cool because I did hit the 90s on uh, my flat bench, which I was really stoked about. I didn't film anything else besides that. Uh, I just really wanted to get a session in and uh, show you guys the PR from today. Um, gym was actually pretty pretty dead, so I was able to get some uh, some different angles today. I, that's really one reason why I don't film my entire workouts. is just because it's really a pain to film when people are giving you looks and the gym is always packed and today was okay because I was uh, there on my lunch break. So um, yeah, so I was stoked about that. 75s up here, um, 55s for eight reps before the set, and then I moved up to the 90s. And I uh, really want to get back to uh, throwing up hundreds again, which would be really cool. I got to 110 for a double, I believe, at my peak of my strength. And um, that was when I was around 215 or 220, I think, at the height of my bulk. Anyway, so that's that, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy uh, the session, and stay tuned for the rest of the video. Peace out. Boom, what's up, everybody? I uh, just got done with the training session, upper body. You have to have your train upper body sometimes. Got the 90s up for a double. I'm sure I'll go over the voiceover with you guys, or if you guys have already seen it. Uh, stoked about it, and I did some other work after that. Now I'm heading back to work, but uh, overall it was an awesome session, and I'm looking forward to more of them, so stay tuned for the rest of the video, guys. All right, what's up, everybody? Back home from work. It is 7.30. Not too bad of a day. Fridays, I am actually, uh, I go to class in the morning, I wake up at six, get to class around 6.30, and then I'm done at uh, around 9.30, 10. 10. Well, sometimes it runs a little bit longer, but anyways, I get to work around uh, 11 and then get off right about now, so uh, it's a shorter day. Uh, anyways, without getting, drowning on too much longer, I wanna show you guys what I picked up, so let's get to it. All right, so two main bags here. Uh, this is actually a smaller grocery haul. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my fruit and veggie bag first to show you what I'm, my micros are looking like, like right now. Uh, green beans, I'm gonna throw these in. I actually haven't been eating a lot of beans, green beans lately. Um, been eating a lot of beans, just not green beans. Bananas, a staple. I'm actually gonna take those out and freeze them. Try them and see how that tastes. Uh, apples. I got two pears and two apples for tomorrow. Loading up on fruit lately. I'm actually trying mangoes out too, but I didn't get any tonight. So, and then I got about two pounds of broccoli for dinner tonight. These are big, freaking huge. All right, so two pounds of broccoli. Right, that's actually a little bit over two pounds. And then Brussels sprouts, of course. So that'll go with dinner tonight as well. And then the goodies. Um, dates, if you guys haven't tried these yet, seriously, you are missing out. Dates are amazing. Um, yeah, dates just destroy prunes. Speaking of prunes and dates and fiber and all that good stuff, this stuff is actually really good as well. If you guys like tea, um, this doesn't really work like a laxative for me. I just actually, since my digestive system's all messed up, um, well not really messed up, just needs a little bit more sometimes, this actually just doesn't actually have a laxative effect on me, it just helps me go. 
Uh, so, but yeah, it's not really a laxative like you guys think. It's just got a lot of good stuff in it. So definitely give it a shot, try it out. Um, got lazy and wanted to, to buy uh, peanut butter. This is like the only brand that I'll buy from Kroger. It's Kroger brand. Uh, Trader Joe's also has a peanut butter too, but uh, that I usually get, but this is good. So get that. Common right here, almond coconut. Pita bread. So what I do with pita bread right now is make my own hummus out of these bad boys. I'll be doing it in a few minutes. So that right there. Rice cakes, staple, and then steak sauce. This is like a Kroger off-brand of uh, A1 steak sauce. So I'll be actually making tofu with this tonight, and I'm gonna try and see uh, how that tastes, but yeah. And then sweetener, and then this stuff, which is pretty good too. Last but not least, tofu, tofu for dinner, yay! I'm actually liking it lately with how I've been making it, so. And uh, one more thing, uh, this stuff is actually really good too. Uh, it's puff puff camet cereal. Uh, it's all wrapped up right now, but yeah, definitely awesome macros on this too for everybody that wants cereal. Um, I usually have this with like a like Honey Nut Cheerios or something like that. Obviously not Honey Nut Cheerios right now, but some sort of real cereal. But this is great for just having the texture. So give it a shot. It's also super cheap too. That's what I'm running with right now. Hope you guys liked it, and stay tuned for the next part of the video. It's hummus time. Boom. Alright okay, guys, try to tr time to try this out for good things and bad things. Actually, I haven't heard any bad things. Nutritional yeast. The first recipe that I saw was with Brussels sprouts, so that's how I'm justifying this right now. Try it. Tastes like cheese. Approval.